Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. We've flown thousands of missions over the eight years and we found the most potent weapon we have is not our guns or our missiles or our planes at all. It's our voices and our ears. The ability to communicate plane to plane to direct people to do things. That's what makes missions work. But a couple of you guys have reached out and said that's great Cap. But in real combat missions, the vast majority of, although not all of them, are done com tight. No communications at all, no radio signals, as well as no radars to make the aircraft as less detectable as possible. So how is it that real life complex missions can be done without instantaneous communication? Well, firstly, in real life they'll have very complex thorough briefings which will last for hours which cover exactly what all pilots do at each point of the mission, when they do them, how long they do them for and so on. As well as that, real pilots have years of professional training so that if something unexpected happens like an engine fails or they get jumped by a bandit they instinctively know what to do but we and grim reapers don't have this extensive training or most of us don't and we don't have the big thorough briefings so i thought let's make a really big complex mission with lots of moving parts and let's try and do it without any communication and let's see what happens f-16s start over here F-18 start over here on a carrier. All aircraft today will start with no weapons, just fuel. And that's how we'll take off. I should say at this point, it's not supposed to be a realistic mission. It's supposed to be an extremely difficult mission to do if we don't have the ability to communicate. And I should say, disclaimer, there is no way in hell we're going to do this, but we're going to try anyway. We'll take off at 0, 0900 Zulu time. Both flights will fly to converge on steer point one here. Each major steer point has a tag or an update point, and it will be in this format. Steer point one, the time that you should arrive at that steer point, the flight level you should arrive at that steer point at, and the distance travelled since the previous update. So, since the previous update, which was all the way when we took off, it was 220 miles away. So, we'll get to steer point 1 at 0930. We'll meet the tanker's low level and we will refuel. Texaco is an MPRS, Arco is a boom. The next update is all the way over here, steer point seven. So the F-16s will go on this route here. The Hornets will go on this route here. Steer point seven, we will get to at 10.20 Zulu at flight level zero. And since steer point one, it's 160 miles. If we arrive at the tanker at 0930, we have to be refueled and off the tanker and through the next six steer points to get to steer point seven at 1020. This all needs planning in your head as you go. That in itself is going to be really hard. How do we get the flights to the tanker, get each guy refueled in sequence without talking to each other? Well, they can do it in real life, so we can do it. So anyway, we split, as you saw, and we get back together again at steer point seven, which is why we must be there at exactly 1020 Zulu time. At that point, we pass through the mountains into Argentina. Argentina are the baddies today. Chile are the goodies or on our side to steer point nine and crucially our next update steer point which is steer point 10 which you will reach at 10 30. this is a friendly airbase just slightly our side of the border you will all land on runway 04 with a run and break so no full circuits today note it's 100 miles since steer point seven. It's O'Higgins Airfield, which is only 4,000 feet long, which is too small to land an F-18 and too small to land an F-16. So it requires a very high skill landing. Absolute maximum fuel load here should be 50%. You'll have to land perfectly on speed or slightly below speed at the exact threshold to survive this landing. This all he's doing without any communications. At this point, you rearm for the mission. Take whichever bomb load you like or rockets or whatever you want. There are no restrictions here today. All we know next is you need to be over steer point 12 here at 10.55. So between 10.30 and 10.55, you must have landed, rearmed, refueled and taken off and gotten another 50 miles to steer point 12. That in itself is a massive logistical task. Once we're there, we've got to destroy the target. The target itself is deliberately fairly simple. The F-16s have to take out 24 of these flat buildings and dogs have to take out these oil drums, one bomber, oil drum or rocket or whatever. After that, turn around, get out of Argentinian airspace and that's the mission complete. You can see along the various routes there are four
A4 Skyhawks with Sidewinder missiles. As you hit a geographical trigger, the flight will spawn in and you'll have to dogfight them and will try and survive or get past them or whatever. Now, the interesting thing is, in real life, you wouldn't know where you were going to be jumped. So I've put a randomizer in that means that each time we run this mission, a different flight will spawn. We might run it and all four flights spawn. We might run it and none spawn or just this one or just that one. I don't know until we run it what's going to happen. And that gives us a real complexity we've got to deal with. Looking out for bandits, translating to our friends that there might be bandits there and shooting down bandits. Mission rules, mission summary. This is very important. The total distance is 700 miles pretty much. ROE is return fire only. I've made that deliberately ambiguous. And that goes back to the little speech I did at the beginning. Max altitude today is 5,000 feet after steer point one. Uh, let me just explain what that means. All what I'm trying to say is today's mission is a low level mission. It's a covert mission. So stay below the scenery at all points. When we do our attack on the site, you will need to pop up for bomb attacks and stuff. So I've allowed you temporarily up to about 5,000 feet. There's only one exception today, which is the initial ferry to steer point one. You can do at high altitude if you want. That's just simulating the ferry towards the combat zone. But once you hit steer point one at the tanker, we're going low level. And our MCOM guys, radios, no. So there will be no radios after setup. So once we get into the server, you're allowed a minute or so to set your plane up. After that, it's radio type for the rest of the mission. Excluding tech problems. Tech problems might happen. Your PC may crash and you may need to respawn and you may need to ask, in which case you can go on the radio temporarily. Radar, no radars today, excluding emergencies. If you get jumped by bandits, obviously you're allowed to turn your radar on and shoot them down, but otherwise radar tight. Data link, which I think uses the radio system. Yes, I'm allowing it today. In real life covert mission, I'm assuming you wouldn't be able to do active data link, only passive, but we don't know enough about how that works. So I'll just allow data link today, guys. Welcome in viewers to whatever's going to happen here. Today we have Simba, Matrix, Grump, Drop, Cap, Tog, Strider, Dark, Cannibal, Bird. Hello, boys. Ahoy. Hello. Hello. All right, I'm going to unpause the server and give you kind of a few seconds to set your jets up before I ask you to um, get off your mic. Just have a look around, make sure there's nothing obviously that I've done wrong in the mission. We should be okay, hopefully. Roger, you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be able to take off. Is anyone not ready? Guys, including VR guys, please go into Discord and fully deafen yourselves. All right, viewers. Yeah, it's just us. This is going to be interesting. Uh... I say, I guess I'm going. I immediately hate this. Everything about it. Huh. First error. Brum's gone before me. Alright. I've got to set my HSI up. Okay, that's the time. It's two minutes past nine already. Good lord. Uh, I've got my waypoint sequence on. Select steer point one, zoom out. All right, we're going that way. I'm gonna trust the boys to find me and follow me visually. Yep, immediately hate everything about this. I should be barking commands at the boys at this point. Good serve fuel. Don't worry about the dark, it will get brighter in the morning. Right, double check my stuff. HSD's up, I'm on track. Three minutes past nine, check. HMD, master arm, blah, 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 RWR, dispenser, data link. I think I'm done. Right, we're allowed to fly high to steer point one viewers and I'm afraid it's just gonna be me talking to you today, which will upset you massively. Welcome back viewers, um, I've probably decided to cut most of that ferry out on the video because it was very uneventful, it was 200 miles of me talking to myself saying absolutely nothing useful. Um, we went high altitude because we were allowed to at this point, my boys did all find me, which is very, oh we even got grump in formation, which is great. I made one error, uh, I forgot to turn my radar off uh, wherever it is, so I've now turned it off, but the boys had to go into comms to tell me that. Uh, Otherwise, that's it. Now, according to this, the tanker should be pretty much directly below me. So what I'm going to do is a wing waggle to let my guys know. But I'm going to go down. Hopefully they've seen that. Do you do that in real life? No friggin' idea. Our fuel is 6,000, about 50%. I'm going to try and contact the tanker. Oh, God, what are we? I'm Texaco. Texaco, one, one. Hope to God I've got it right. 
But I'm assuming it must be that contact on the data link viewers, so I'm going to head towards that data link contact. In real life, it begs the question, would you even have data link? I, I just don't know. Uh, those must be the F-16s there. Uh, we've made it on time, so that's impressive at least. Although it was only one steer point. Um, I may have forgot to tell you, viewers, I've put the uh, tankers at low level because these are in the theatre. So these are part of the Cobra operation and they are not stealthy, so it said I put them very low down. Yes, they are. We found the tankers. Right. Looks like the F-16s just beat us to the tanker. Double check. My guys are here. Yes, they are. Some the beautiful boys. Um, they sh probably already know that um, we stack on the left of the tanker before we refuel. And I've already pre-briefed my boys about the refueling um, uh, order. It'll be me, then uh, Grump, and then Matrix. And the time is 9.29, so we are 25 seconds ahead. F-16s are already tanking. It's harder for them to tank. Um, and they only get one boom, so they'll probably take longer, so that's probably a good thing. Fuel is 5,000. Right, I'm cleared finally. Going on this hose here. Sorry about the altitude warning. Too much going on to worry about that at the moment. I'm against the clock. God damn it, the pressure is too much. Shut up. Right, gotta turn that stupid warning off where it drives me friggin' nuts. Go away. Who would be a friggin' combat pilot? No, 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 no. Okay. Right, an F-16's finished. This mission has already given me frigging grey hairs. I need to start calculating in my head when we leave these tankers, viewers. So we need to be at... Uh, steer point 7. We need to be at steer point 7 at 10.20. That's 45 minutes from now. To traverse the waypoints takes 25 minutes, giving me 20 minutes to refuel. So the time we can refuel is 9.35 plus 20 is 9.55. We can refuel until 9.55. Is that me full? Transfer complete. Okay, I'm done. Don't worry about this guy now. I'm guessing that's, yes, that must be Grub. Right. Ah, the F-16s have been refueling all that time as well, viewers. Oh, that's two, that's one Hornet done. Hornet 3 is going in, that's Matrix. Simba's refueled, Dark's now refueling on the F-16s. Got five F-16s and five all needs to get done. Oh, I was not expecting this. Oh dear. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we've got two hornets sucking. Me done. Him done. Him sucking. Or blowing, I suppose. Someone just finished. F-16 finished. F-16-3 going in. And remember, viewers, I'm only responsible for my flight of hornets. I'm not responsible for Simba's flight. He's responsible for them. So I just got to worry about my boys and my time on target. Right, time is 9.38. We've got all the time in the world. Oh, I've got to put my probe away. F-16s. I don't know where the second F-16s has gone, but there are two that are fueling. Okay, Matrix is finished. Now, he used to be a real combat pilot, so he should know where to go after refueling. And he's going correctly.
Another one done. Three Hornets done. Another F-16 getting jigged up. Or how meta is this? Cap's watching this one. F-18 refuel while I'm watching Cap watching this guy refuel. So far, viewers, we are ahead of time. 15 minutes ahead of time. That makes me a happy young man. Mainly young. He's sucking. And he's sucking. One thing I haven't figured out how to do is turn my lights off yet, viewers. I will find it. I usually have my guys to help me, but... Okay, let me find it. Blah, 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 No. There. Blah, 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 No, there it is. What an awkward place to have the lights. Look at that. Must not destroy my flight. Lights off. Big sexy. Wow, do you see anything sexier, viewers? Two tankers refueling two beautiful boys at the same time. Is that my boy? It's my boy, it's my last boy. Right. Hornets are done. I don't have to worry about the F-16s. I think they've got, I don't know, whatever. They've got whatever they've got to do. I'm going to now display to my guys by rocking my wings in front of the tanker. Because that's how I like to display. And... Rock. All right, we are 12 minutes ahead of schedule, which is great. Good to have, uh, very unlike me. Whoops, I went the wrong way, viewers. <laughs> A thing happened. We're going this way. So at this point is where we separate from the F-16s. The F-16s go north, we go south, and we meet up again all at steer point seven. By the looks of things, we're going to be early. This is a massive mission. This is going to take forever, viewers. So I'll probably do lots of little cuts in the video. But we are now on our way. Now we've got to go low, as I remember. Well, it's my mission, so we do need to go low. I planned an average of 430 knots ground speed. And we're ahead of time, so we can probably relax. But I'd rather get there early than late. So uh, with my autopilot on. I can think about getting a cup of tea on the boil, viewers. I'm missing a hornet. I'm missing a friggin' hornet. Uh-oh. Things happened. Who have I lost? I've got me, Matrix, Grum, Tog. Ah, oh, there he is. Look, there he is. It's Tog. He's found us. Right, we're all good. Fuel. 9,000. We're fine. That's interesting. There's someone on my data link. Who is that? Well, I can cheat on the map. I can go and have a quick look. Viewers, it's not going to... The boys can't hear me, so it doesn't matter. That's me. Oh, look at that. The F-16s are ahead of us. It's Simba leading Strider and Drop and Dark. And they've left a man at the tanker. They've left Cannibal tanking. It's just different ways of doing it, viewers. I brought my guys with me. Simba split his team temporarily, but all is fine. So we're all ahead of time, I think, viewers. We need to double check that in our mind. And I guess a real pilot's going to be doing this all the time, mental arithmetic. So, if I need to get to steer point 7 at 10.20... Oh, and look at this, viewers. Completely forgot. Ta-da! So, we're on this route here, route. We get to steer point 7 there at 10.20. It's currently 9.45, so we've got 35 minutes to do 165 miles. Now... Time 60. So, I've got to average 274 nautical miles per hour which is 275 knots so theoretically i am way faster than i need to be but that's fine i'd rather be early than late if we get early than late viewers what we can do is if and if we get the f-16s here early we can all leave steer point seven early to get us to higgins early to give us more time to land at higgins and that will take the pressure off us a bit fuel 9000 i'm burning that's how many pounds per engine per hour I'm burning and I'm going to be going for an hour so I'm going to burn 7,000 at this rate I'm going to burn 7,000 an hour 
That will leave me £2,000 to land at Higgins, which is perfect, so don't touch the throttle now. Well, so far, viewers, I'm extremely impressed with my guys. Bear in mind, they don't know what I'm saying, I don't know what they're saying. Apart from Cannonball, who I think was probably left on purpose to stay behind. Sorry about the liveries. I put them in silly liveries by accident, viewers. In fact, I, these may all be purple. Oh, maybe not. Apart from Cannibal got left behind, probably on purpose by Simba. Everything is going beautifully well. And I know we're only at steer point one, but still, it's very rare everything goes well for us. Right, what I'm going to do now, viewers, is go lower um, because it's a combat mission. So I'm going to rock my wings and rock my wings to let the boys know something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. Something's about to happen. Look, the boys are going off a little bit. When we get jumped by Skyhawks, which probably will happen, um, I'm going to put flares out. I don't dare test flares now because they might think it's a real emergency. 200 feet, that's pretty sexy. I wouldn't mind an SA display over here. Ah, that's useful because look, I can plot my steer point chain there. I can view out, go out and see Simba's boys. I can't. Yes, I can. Look, they're populating there. There they are, they're Simba. There's the tank that says Cannibal. There's my boys, all together, like big, sexy, beautifuls. Uh, there's no AWACS on this mission, viewers, because they didn't want AWACS. We're basically at steer point two now. I'm going to auto, I'm going to manually go back to steer point three. If that's ahead of us, we can guide it on our tick there. There's steer point three at 33 miles. And sexy flyby. Get a cup of tea. Go and have a look at the F-16s. They are exactly where they should be on time. Uh, they've all got silly, they've all got the same livery, that's my mistake, but they look very sexy. Now, my main problem now, viewers, is my displays are too. Oh, there we go. Zulu time, 0951. We are. Wow, 51 minutes into this mission already, viewers. It's going to be a long mission. 8,000 pounds of fuel, gonna come down on the power a bit. Those boys are really gonna fly wingtip formation for 700 miles, rather than me. I can just sit and, uh, I can sit and have a latte, viewers. As I always say, it's kind of a them problem. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Gruntmeister here with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. We're flying through the beautiful Andes Mountains and Argentina and Chile today. Wait, wait, no, I think this is the wrong game. Huh. I think we're still playing DCS. I'm going to increment to steer point four. Beep. 18 miles. Take the boys around the left roll. Cut through here. Just your average day flying through the mountains. Oh, I see a fish. Oh, I see more fish. What was I doing? Oh, right. Lovely bit of terrain there, viewers. Look at that. Wonder if any of these little mini islands have houses on them in real life, viewers. And we're going to tuck us around here. Ponk water pilot back on. And read the paper. I think there are going to be left turns from here on out. NASCAR, am I right? Hell yeah. Raise hell, praise Dale. Alright, let's check fuel. 7,700. I feel that's quite good. I've got a combined 7,600 burn over an hour, and we've got less than an hour to go by far now, so. That's all working. Current UTC is 0956. We are there, viewers. No, we're... Where are we? There, viewers. So we're going to turn north shortly and boot our way up these chasms. Hop over that island there. Hopefully we'll see Simba's smiling face right there. Got to make a turn down that waterway there. Right, I can update to the next steer point. 55. 
17 miles. Gonna go and check the F-16s. There they are. A bit of dark, trying to be different. Dark always wants to be different. Always otherwise together. Cannonballs almost caught them up, so that's great work. And he's got a fuel belly of gas as well, so we can do that. In fact, F-16s are well ahead of us. Look at that. F-16s have only got 30 miles to go to steer point seven. We've got 54. Why are we so slow behind them? I wonder how mad cap would be if I... Uh went over to the shore right there, ejected, so I could go fishing. Oh, look at that. The guy's just gone ahead of me. Huh. Rude. Rude. Right. Is that a signal? Is he trying to signal me? I don't know. He's rocking his wings. He rocked his wings. He's trying to signal me. What could he be signaling? I don't know. Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong with my plane? No. My canopy is closed. He's after burning. He wants to go faster. He's seen an enemy. I don't know what that means. He wants to go faster. Okay, I'm going faster. Okay, I put the power on. He probably knows something that I've overlooked. That's probably what that means. Thank you for holding. If you would like for us to save your place in line and call you back when a representative is available, press one. Otherwise, <sighs> Please remain on the line for the next available representative. Yay, waiting. Back on task. We've got 20 minutes to do uh, 40 miles. Right, at any point we could be jumped by bandits as well, so I'm supposed to be looking around a cockpit as well, but I can't do that. I can't multitask like that. So I guess I'm sort of relying on my boys to look around the cockpit. Somehow signal me that I'm about to be shot. Man, who would be a real friggin' pilot? About to hit the next steer point, there's increment two steer point. No, oh, hang on, I'm lost. Wow, well, we're on steer point seven already. Wow, look at that. And turn autopilot off. It is off. And turn to steer point seven. Do you think Cap dreams about cars? Do you think he dreams about the Dacia Sandero? Maybe the Subaru STI? Nah. That's, I think that's a little too exotic for Cap's tastes. F-16s are more or less together. They've got there already. They've got there 18 minutes early. So what we'll probably do, viewers, is I'll go and join them, give them a cue that all my boys are here, give them a wing waggle, and then I'll probably take us all early just to O'Higgins because the mission allows us to get to O'Higgins early. If anything, it gives us more time to get suited and booted down there. I said we just landed on the glacier and start doing burnouts. I think they probably know to orbit. They're probably orbiting near it. Yeah, so you see how they've slowed down? I imagine they're there probably waiting for us. 6,000 pounds. I think we're golden on fuel, viewers. I think we're, I think I was worrying a lot more than I needed to. I'm gonna start punching the power up a bit. Terrible time to choke. <coughs> oh, that's no good. <coughs> There's Simba. Right, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to meet with him, fly in front of him, and let him know that I'm here. I'm going to determine who is who. Okay, they're coming. Here they are. The leader is over there. There's the leader. There's the leader. Right, I'm going to buzz in front of him. I suspect he's busy trying not to crash, so he probably doesn't even know I'm here. Okay, he's just gone level. Where is he? There he is. He's just gone left. Right, should see me. Hello! Waggle, 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 waggle. Yes, he's acknowledging. It's working! Right, steer point A. I'm pretty sure he's realised what's going on. Master caution, that never sounds good. I'm sure it's fine. Steer point A, is that a way? We've got to punch through the mountains. Andes? I think it's the Andes, isn't it? And they're following! Right, dip waypoint A is 14 miles over a massive glacier here. Okay, my fellow Hornets are getting back with me. The next part of the mission, viewers, needs us to get to Higgins at 10, at least 10.30. It's now 10.08. That's 22 minutes to get to Higgins, which will easily do. Now, if I land this gently on this uh, field of ice here, 
perhaps we can actually go sledding. We can have the uh, missile rails there as our guiding sleigh. Well, F-16 is just smashing in. As long as they're not flaring or something, or putting the radar on, I'm probably happy. In reality, they would almost certainly be in a much more professional formation viewers. They would be in whatever trail or something like that, but we're not going to go that detail. Three miles and update to next steer point. Cap, are we there yet? How about now? Cap, why won't you talk to me? I don't feel loved. See how my formation flyers are always on point watching for my moves, viewers. So every time I roll, they roll. I've drummed that into them over about eight years. Note that we're crossing over the uh, egress route now on the steer point nine, and then 10, and then land, and probably crash. Fuel, 5,500. Yeah, I was worrying about nothing. We've got loads of fuel. Loads of fuel. Might even be able to put the power up a bit. Oh look, that F-16 is talking to that other F-16. Trying to tell him something. Don't know what it told him. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why did the F-16 turn around? He didn't put the symbol of flares out. The flares is the signal for baddies. I don't know why he did that, but I'm definitely on, I'm definitely doing the right thing. If he goes into this mountain, I'm just going to follow him. Screw it. Oh, he figured it out. Is he going to do the rollover? Yes! That was beautiful. Main thing I'm worried about is getting. We're in Argentina now, so I'm worried about getting jumped. I'm worried that someone might have seen something. Again, I asked them to flare and put their radar on when they see something, but I don't think I've seen any of that. Plus, I'm not sure a Skyhawk can actually go this fast anyway, viewers. I'm not sure it even matters. Time is 10, uh, 12 past 10. We are 18 minutes until we need to be there. Now I'm planning ahead for this next bit, viewers. I know landing at O'Higgins is going to be very dangerous. We need to be lowest fuel possible. It's actually smaller than the amount that the aircraft needs to land on the runway. So what I'm going to do now is burn as much fuel as I can off before I get there. But I don't want to put my afterburners on because I don't want to spook my guys. So I'm going to try and for maximum power before afterburner, which I can judge with our nozzle position indicator here. But I'm just going to be a little bit careful. That's my max power before afterburner. Switching to next steer point. Oops. All right, steer point 10, O'Higgins, 20 miles down this canyon. Here they come, belting around that mountain. Might probably do a cheap view just to make sure I've not left anyone behind, viewers. And... We're all together! It's working! And we're going to be 10 minutes early. Right, 4,000 pounds of fuel. Let's see if we can get that down to 3,000. There's the runway. There's O'Higgins runway. That is one terrifying looking runway. That's made for Cessnas and light aircraft, not for F-16s viewers. Put my boards out. Burn as much fuel as I can off. Oh my god! A thing happened! Did we get shot down? Did we get shot down? Wow. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't think we got shot down. I think it may have been a mid-air collision. Uh, and the rules are with Grim Reapers, you are allowed to respawn if you do that, but they're probably too far away. That may just be a very unlucky collision, viewers. I don't see any... Oh my god, Skyhawks! Well, I guess the only thing to do now is uh, crash into cap if we can make it complete. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. As I almost accidentally do that, just that thing. 100% a thing happened, though. Two guys, heads down in the cockpit. Right, I need to concentrate myself. I need to land as slow as I can without stalling the aircraft on the threshold. And in we roll. We are 
13 minutes ahead of time. No, definitely no Skyhawks, we would see. Oh, hello. Right, so get the E bracket on the velocity vector, but the velocity vector on the threshold and the plane will land itself. You still have to put the gear down, just put the flaps down, check, check. Boom, on the anchors. Balance the anchors, balance the anchors. I'm gonna turn off before someone rams into the back of me. Oh, the horse hornets are basically landing first. Right, come on, break that plane, break that plane, break that plane, break that plane. Good man. Turn up the wrong way. Next guy, even better. Oh my god, there's an F 16 coming in from high alpha pass. Third hornet down, and rearm. Next in, Tog. Go on, smash it, Tog, smash it. Tog, not massively experienced in the fog. Can he do it? He hasn't got his fat all the way down. Or has he? I don't know. Maybe he does. There he is. Fat's coming down. Come on, Tog. Come on, Tog. Come on, Tog. Don't go short. Don't go short. Don't go short. Don't go short. And cut and anchors. Anchors, 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 anchors. Everyone on the Tog Express. Hop on the Tog Express. Yes, he's anchoring. He's differential braking. Beautiful done. Now here's a problem. An F-16 right up his jacksey. I told him to get the hell off the runway and quick. And he has. Brilliant landing from F-16 there. That's how you do it. He's not going to use aero braking. Aero braking does not stop as quick as the anchors. The anchors are always more powerful than aero braking. Thank you. Hey! I've told the boys they can uh, come back on mic once they've down and they've got their uh, canopy up. How did you find that from? I really need to go to the bathroom. Me too. Beat you there. All right. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I piss on this and make it my paint scheme? Sure. Sure, do you do it. <laughs> I'm going to hold it in. My old drum teacher used to tell me to hold my pee in view as it made me play better. We're not refueling at all, right? I've refueled, Crumb, because I've got very minimal fuel. Yeah, I would. Okay. Oh, I think drop landed too fast. Can he save it? He can save it! Matrix. Oh, what happened to Strider? I don't know what Doctor happened. Fuel. You ran out of... Can you... Re no, it? too far. Oh, man down. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't get back in time. Strider is out of there! Strider, so, do you know who crashed? I, someone crashed or something? I, I saw them right off my right um, wing. That was Dark and Simba. Dark they and Simba together. crashed. Oh, they are not. That's going to test their friendship. Probably trying to strangle Dark. <laughs> we have the safety of the internet to protect us. He's got all the credentials to do this, but does he have the. whatever it takes oh, to land it? Right, am I armed up? Oh, I'm oh, not arming up. Is. Yes, it is, sorry. Yes, it is, doesn't matter. We got here, Grum, uh, I think. Rearming complete. 14 minutes early. Um, I'll do some planning in a minute for when we take off. Uh, for the time being, guys that can hear me, uh, get rearmed, refueled, and just set your jets up so there's as little workload uh, later on as possible. Cap, um, I do remember you saying if there was a problem, they could respawn, right? I mean, they can, but they're like a long way away is the only problem. So if they can catch up, do it. Find a way. Roger. I'm sure they'll just burn up Mark 4 yeah, at 40,000 uh, feet. They're welcome to do that. It's the problem with being so sexy. Here's a problem. Right, I'm going to start setting my bombs up. Everything's set up now, guys. So there's high Some dogs. serious clipper factor on that landing. Hey, Tog, that was a good landing. I mean, it was short as hell, but you pulled it off. So, works for me. Oh, that they was have. fun. They're coming back. They're coming back. Yay, look, the boys are coming back. They still have to land and get fuel and stuff. It's just something we allow viewers if you crash into each other, because we do unrealistic formations. I allow the boys to respawn, because otherwise... It would just get really I'm going to have to love you and leave you, Cap. Okay, Matrix, well done for doing it so far. Oh, it's fun so far, yeah. but um, yeah, I've got yeah, real life things to attend to. Right, viewers, I need to start planning. So, the time now is 10.25. We need to be at the target at latest 10.55. So that is 30 minutes from now. Let's say it takes 10 minutes to get there. That means we need to take off 10.35, which is 10 minutes from now. We need to leave in 10 minutes. I don't know about you guys, I but the... Um, 
air to air refueling I really struggled at, the extra pressure of having to do it on time and all that. I got to turn into butter fingers. No, you don't want to hear my canopy capture that whole thing. Don't be there when uh, the boys arrive. No, I'm going to go where the F-16s are basically, but just sit on the grass on my off-road tyres. I'm amazed they've got it so quick. I mean, they genuinely are starting like, what is it, like 400 miles or 300 miles away? So they're going to have no fuel. No fuel at all. Right, here come the boys. All fresh faced and angry. Now, have they got those skills to land though? Hopefully they don't crash into each other on the road. <laughs> Again, yeah. Again. I will not wait. I see it. Now they already separated. Right, we're leaving in, um, what's the time? 35, we're leaving in six minutes, seven minutes. Right, come on dark, come on dark, come on dark. Oh, not sure, anything but short. He's down. Wow, he got that close. He's on the anchor. Look at everyone listening to me today. No one error breaking, no one showing off. Now the most dangerous thing here is stalling and going short, viewers. I thought Tog was going to do it, but he made it in the end. But there's a real pressure to go as slow as you can, but these planes will drop out of the sky on you in an instant. Also seeing, look how high the angle of attack he has to ride. Seeing over the canopy. Oh, like a peach, look at that. Like a glove. Now, can he master his toe braking? And boys, I think they're friggin' skill levels. Oh my god, I hope I don't hit one of the boys, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? I think we're okay. And good to see you guys. Hey Doc, nice landing. Thank you. I think I need to go forward, bro. Nicely squeezed, freshly squeezed Tog. My favourite thing in the morning. This airport looks like a carrier deck. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I was uh, flying up to give everybody, uh, like, kick it to burner to burn off fuel. And when I got up to dark, against my better interest, I decided uh, to get really close to him and look him in the eyeballs. Oh. And about that time, we had a lag spike and collided. So you were trying to, oh, you were trying to actually gesture him to do something. Yeah, well, it's dangerous. We were all probably around thirty-five to four thousand pounds of fuel, and I did, I wanted our guys mm -hmm. coming in less than two thousand. So I was like going by, rolling and kicking in and out the burner, and then going yeah. full burner right. to move along. So, yeah, it was just kind of a, hey, we need to burn off fuel or we're not going to make the runway. And when I got to Dark, Dark was stayed up with you guys. Uh, the reason why you saw me broke off and turn is somebody did flick a radar. And as I made the turnaround, I noticed uh, an airplane was not with the group. So I went out to investigate. It was Matrix. Gave him a wing waggle. He gave me a wing waggle. And then I rejoined the group. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll take off. I'll get us into an orbit because we're ahead of time until the last man's taken off and then I'll lead us out. Canopy's down, everyone. Comms tight, please. It's me and you again, viewers. Right. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually take off on this. I mean, it'd be a really shit mission if I can't, right? In fact, you probably won't even see this video. Come on, big gal. Come on. Take off, 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 take off. Heavily loaded big gal. Easy! Right, now can the F-16s do it? Auto done. Togs up. F 16's going. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. One's up. Come on, lift. Yeah, they can do it. Woo! Alright, last F 16's up. I'm going mill power. Stiff on 11 queued. Off we go. Last leg to the ingress. Wow, this is a long mission, viewers. I can't even remember when we took off. Oh, it was 090 we took off. It's now 10.39. An hour and 40 mics. Make sure the radar's still off. Where is the radar? There it is. Radar's still off. Boys in tow. All right, viewers, my biggest concern is I finished my cup of tea over an hour and 11 minutes ago over an hour and 11 minutes with no cup of tea. Also, just realised this is a combat mission. I'm going to need to go low. Slight wing waggle to all the boys. And I'm diving. Anyone out there in the comments that knows, I'd love to know what the real visual symbols, signals are. What does waggling wings really mean? What does tail slip really mean? What's all that stuff actually mean? Is it, is it specific per force? Is it specific per plane? Is it specific per squadron? Switching, steer point 12, target steer point. Oh, 
No sight of any Skyhawks yet. Which is nice. Alright, this is the last bit of terrain that's blocking us from hostile radar, so as soon as I'm over here and we're post IP, I'm going to go down to 50 feet combat altitude. And watch it, left man, watch it, left man, watch it. He's alright. Rolling over. Down to the deck we go. Time, we are nine minutes early, nine minutes early. And I can live with that. Didn't even need to signal the boys, they've already gone combat spread. They're years and years of training. The nominal target today is so no SAMs or air defences, that's not what today is about. And rolling in on the left target, I guess. And we are. One, two, three, four. Ooh, nice. Four destroyed. Weapon sight. Always making short work of this. F-16 bombs hitting. You know what, I reckon people are going to miss their targets, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and clear up other people's targets. Or should I? I don't know what to do. I probably should do that, shouldn't I? Right, I suspect the F-16s are struggling, so I'm going to stop bombing their buildings. That was pretty good. Spec, maybe their buildings don't die with one bomb. That might be what's going on. Let's have a look. All right, let's see. Bomb right in the middle of that guy. Where are my bombs? Where are my bombs? Right. Yes, it's on fire. All right, it all works. And. And drop. Pop. Take them down slowly. Oh, I just picked up some radiation. That was some, that beep was some radiation. Something's going on. Need to check. Last bomb out. Oh my god! Skyhawks are in. I pressed the wrong button and it went to a. Anyway, whatever. What else going on? Radiation, uh, radar's on. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? That's an F-18. Amram, select. Radar, figure. Possible bandits ahead, unknown. I really hope that's a enemy. Yeah, it's definitely an enemy. Splash one. Something got blown up. Don't know what it was. A thing. It's friendly. That's also friendly. That is a... What is it? Possible Skyhawk. Skyhawk. Miss. Oh, fight. Hit. Bog. 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 What's that? Something fired? Bog. Skyhawk. Skyhawk. Yes, well done, boys. F-16 been chased by F-16. No obvious friendly fire happened. Coming down there. Bob. F-16. F-16. Check my SA. SA is showing 
no one that's not us may not be the whole picture so I'm just gonna be a little bit careful right all right At this point, I have to assume they're all shot down. Grump's not posturing and offensive, so I imagine they've all been shot down. Right, bombs depleted. Go for a quick gun run, do I need to? Get the chuff out of it, Winchester. 2.13 already selected. Cap burning out of combat. In terms of who got shot down and whatnot, I have no idea. That guy's smoking. That guy's on fire. Something wrong with him. 6,000 pounds of fuel. 16. I don't think this is trying to tell me something. Oh, the F-16's over there. I think they're going their own way. Right, we'll get to this steer point and I think we'll call it quits. Oh no, we might as well get across the border. The border's only a few miles. Ah, Trump has got his smoke on. Right, as we're all split up, I'm going to do this in style. That'll be off. Turn her on. Borders a rotten egg. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! As my baby says. Oh no! Um, I think. Are we gonna make it across the border? We might make it across the border! We can make it! We're gonna make it! And if you're gonna get across the border, viewers, that's the way to do it, right? Oh, hey, Grump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got across the border. Right, so we left the tanker. We went separate ways. Cannibal fell behind, but caught up. We got to steer point seven way before time, like quarter of an hour before time. I signaled to Simba that we're leaving early. He got the signal. We went over the mountains. We went and landed, had a mid-air collision. They came back. We reloaded. The boys came back in. We took off, apart from Strider, who was out of fuel. We bombed a bunch of stuff. For some reason, some buildings weren't blowing up, but whatever. This is probably the most interesting bit, what happened on the combat. So I didn't realize until I detected an F-16 radar that something was amiss. Yep, I fired on my, I fired out my flares and then immediately turned on my radar. Yeah. So it's Tog that was in them first. A Tog was already in them, but pretty much. Dogfighting. Yeah, I was trying to flare. Yeah. I get, when you roll back, you'll see me at the bottom. When, you get, when you're all doing the bombing run, I pop flare and then I, yeah. I you see how I'm out directly pointed at you that's when you started getting that's the radar I got. radar indication ah, right yeah i heard a yeah. beep right. yeah i spotted him i saw tark tog headed that way so that's why i was like all right well tog's going to take the brunt of it and i will sound the alarm and then we start sh shooting them down yeah and it was an easy fight obviously they had side wonders but we were going to always going to smash them and no losses which is great guys um that's it really uh, it was just an experiment i wanted to run i don't really want to do it again because uh, it it was different but not particularly enjoyable obviously it was it was a nice challenge any thoughts based on it any events that occurred that piqued your interest i think that was fun i thought that was awesome but yeah. what about the beautiful beautiful I, banter though uh, uh i would say not not hearing not listening to cap was probably the most beautiful part of that whole flight Pretty right we had so there, an hour of nothing it was bliss <laughs> there is still calm out banter and one of the things you can't emulate in the game is hand signals yeah. Pilots do a lot of conversation through hand signals to keep the, the radios quiet. Also, In game we can't we can't emulate hand signals. Also helmet signals too. Like head motions and stuff mm. on the ground. Yeah, uh, you can definitely see see that one. That's it, viewers. Um that's a seven hundred mile well, we didn't do the whole seven have a hundred miles. We crashed two hundred miles before seven hundred miles, but it was an interesting experiment and anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and bye bye.